Zach? Man. No! Zach! <laughs> what? What is that? What the? We're this doing is, an worth it. This is a PG <laughs> show. <laughs> it's doing worth it. No. It's bed. Cover. No, this is how I sleep. How do you sleep? Okay, no. we're doing an episode of Worth It. Worth It Bed Edition. We're gonna get, you ready to go to bed with me, Stephen Lim? It's gonna be great. Put some clothing on. We're here in Miami to try three beds at three drastically different price points to find out which bed is most worth it at its given price point. Worth it! Did I nail it? Nice. You know what I realized is that you're normally on this side <gasps> in an intro. Do you want to switch? Oh, do you grab my butt? No, I'm just getting you out of the you, way. Zach, you're a good friend of mine. Uh-huh. I know that you have trouble sleeping. Yeah, I do. I was diagnosed over the summer with something called ankylosing spondylitis. Basically, it makes bone grow where there shouldn't be bone. If left untreated, it would turn me into just one giant uh, oh my God! Bone man. Symptoms get worse in times when you're inactive, right? So when are you most inactive? When you're sleeping. Uh, starting here in Miami because we're checking out. It's not just a bed. It is a hammock. Steven, I just told you that I don't sleep through the night and your solution is a hammock? My name is Ryan Avila. I'm the marketing director for La Siesta Hammocks and we're here in Miami today to take a look at some hammocks. Is a hammock a bed? It is. There are millions of people around the world that sleep in hammocks every night. We can trace them to Central American culture and also the West Indies. Tell us about La Siesta. To start with, this is a Colombian style hammock. They're all beautiful, handmade. Yeah. Our hammocks have more of these cords. It really improves the weight distribution. The thing about hammocks is they create zero tension points. You simply can't get that with a flat bed or a flat lying surface. Toss and turning is a thing of the past. Hammocks. There are a lot of ways to set it up. There's of course tree ropes and you can just find two trees. We also make wall mounts and we also make stands. There's also what we call our smart hook. You can literally adjust the height in seconds. They retail for 150. 150 probably has to be the cheapest bed on the market. So you sleep in hammocks? At the very least, like two to three nights of the week. What kind of pajamas you rock? Native. See, that's what, I, told, that's what I was telling him. I like how you answered that, native. I would say Nike. Let's go try some hammocks. Most people's natural inclination when they see a hammock is gonna be to lay lengthwise. Do not tell me that is wrong. It is very wrong. My Whoa. whole life is a lie. So you're creating all these tension points and you're not making use of all this fabric. So the actual way that you should lay in a hammock is diagonally. And you'll see that now my back is essentially laying almost completely flat. And you'll see my head is, is slightly elevated huh. here. That is very counterintuitive to how you would think that you would get in. So this diagonal pose, is that how historically people have used hammocks? Yes, yeah, yeah. History. <sighs> so that's how you're not supposed to do it. So I want to be taut. Am I taut? Do I look taut? A lot of times when people toss and turn in the night, it's because your weight is collecting in these certain points and it's kind of making you uncomfortable. A hammock keeps you in place more too, so you find yourself moving less. Ah. Ooh, that is nice. Yeah. Steven, can you rock me? Wow. Look at me, Zachy Kornfeld, being rocked by Steven Lim in Miami. I'm not feeling any pressure points along my back. Really? I am stunned by how comfortable I am. I'd say that this is easily more comfortable than my real bed at home. And I bought like some bolt expensive pillow and I put a pad on top of my mattress. This is more comfortable. Yeah, nailed it. Oh, I can start to feel it. Okay, all right, I got this. I feel it. It's working. It's working. Oh, hey. Rock a body. Oh my gosh. Tell me, I want to rock, rock your body bed. right. You rock my beddy, bo bed body <laughs> too hard. It's happening. This is a game changer. I can easily adjust the pressure points anywhere by like pushing fabric here or pushing here. You don't need somebody to cuddle you, Zach. I'm already being cuddled by a hammock. Wow. Okay, I just didn't, I didn't know you felt that way. All right, Zach, you ready? Uh uh. We're leaving Miami. Nope. Get out. <laughs> nope. Steven, no. Give me the Steven, no. We're Steven, no. New Bed York bags. City! What? Oh, what? Oh, okay. Which, Which one do you want? You know what? We should say we're in New York now. New Bed York bags. City! <laughs> you. There was a study done in 2005 that said if you don't make your bed, your bed becomes less attractive to dust mites, which actually <gasps> makes it cleaner. Whoa, shut up! No, I'm not kidding. Wow, wow, okay, that's huge, because I definitely hate making my bed. So we're heading over to a place called 8 Sleep. They track a lot of data when you sleep. I'm pretty excited, they're a technology company. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. 
yeah, yeah. Keep yeah. walking. Welcome to Eight Sleep. My name is Matteo, I'm the CEO of the company. We started in 2015. We created this incredible technology that tracks heart rate, respiratory rate. Through this information, obviously, we know anything about your sleep. So sleep stages and sleep quality, toss and turns. I don't understand how you're able to measure this stuff. I'm picturing like Cerebro from, right. from X-Men, like a giant helmet I put on that, that reads my brain. So there are sensors embedded in the mattress and they work like a stethoscope. So it's like if you were sleeping on the stethoscope with your doctor listening to you the whole night. This technology has been used in hospital and healthcare for a very long time. We were just the first ones to bring it to a mattress. Each side of the bed can be set at a different temperature. You can control it through your app. Wait, I can be out at the club and then type in that I want my bed toasty yeah. for me when I come home. This is like the Jetsons. And our alarm is marked. Let's say you set your alarm the 30 minutes window before we pick the moment of light asleep to wake you up. It looks like a mattress. It's just the 2.0 version. So we're in our PJs, you're finally. Are you, so PJs. this is really your PJs, a sweater and board shorts? Yeah. Look, I get cold. You get cold. See, I overheat in bed. This is actually perfect for us. We have here, eight sleep app. Here we go. Okay. Let's check it out. Wow, look at this. So you get, you get a sleep score every single night, how many hours you slept, what percentage of deep sleep? It tells you when? like a timeline. Okay, this is me right here, yeah. I woke up and then it took 20 minutes to get out of bed. The bed's warming them up here. Wow, the bed cares. Turn the lights off. Wait, it connected to the light? What? For me, it'd be really interesting to know how many times I toss and turn in the middle of the night because it's something I'm not really aware of. It seems like this can help a lot of people with a lot of things. A real thing with invisible illnesses is that no one can see your symptoms and I have no way to, to physically measure them. So this app, I think, actually would have been really valuable along this process because it would have known that there was a problem before I was ready to accept it. You want to slip one of those blankets? Ground rules. One, stay on your side. What? Two, stay on your side. No. Okay, let's no. Go. Come on, Steven. Steven! Oh, this is comfortable. Wow, this is surprising. I, I was thinking, you know, and he was describing it as a stethoscopes all over the bed. I was expecting it to be like lumpy. Yeah, there's nothing there. Oh. How hot is your side, man? I nice can move and over. Toasty. I want to feel it. My buns are toasting up right now. Wow, like it's it. really warm over here. Can I feel your side? Oh, wow. It's a little bit chilly there. I'm turning my side all the way up on hotness level so that you will. Stay away. Stay away. <laughs> the little levels of customization really make me feel like this is my bed, and I really appreciate that. Yeah. It's like a choose your own adventure bed. Yeah. Let's take a nap. Good night, Steven. Okay, what did I say about staying to your side? All right. The real dream of the company is what if we improve sleep where you will need only six hours of sleep to feel as rested as if you slept eight hours? No. Oh, wow, I actually fell asleep. Oh. That was pleasant. <sighs> Hi, Steven. Tell me your thoughts. The mattress was great. I think when I start to fall asleep, I get like anxious. Mm. It's just like an impending doom. That you're gonna be in pain soon? Yeah, I didn't notice any real discomfort. I don't wanna get up, so that's a thing. I have a online mattress at home. Mm -hmm. The comfort level of this mattress to that, I don't see a significant difference. But it already costs the same as my mattress at home. So why did I not just get, get this all one with the all the features? Yeah. yeah, I gotta say, the function that I love the most from this bed uh -huh. is the warmer. One, being able to heat your bed, beautiful. Being able to control the temperature of your bed by the side that you're on. Yes. That's gonna save a lot of relationships. Back in LA. This has been great, cause you know, you wake up and then we just go back to sleep. That's a dream. Bed backed in Europe until the late Middle Ages, people actually would commonly eat their meals in their beds. I get the luxury of eating in bed, but the feeling of a crumb against your body, oh. now it's time to get expensive. It's a Swedish company. Ooh, sounds fancy, like Ikea. They hand make every bed. Huh? And the beds, Way what, like half a ton? Wow. That's right. But the true metal of a bed can only be tested with a partner. Have you been waiting this entire episode to cuddle with me? Yeah. For science. For science. We will do it.
My name is Carl and I'm the director for Hastings Beds in Beverly Hills. Tell us a little bit about the background of the company. So we started as saddlers 165 years ago. Making saddles? Exactly. I guess if you can make riding a horse comfortable, you, got <laughs> you can yeah. make anything yeah. good. And then we turn into making mattresses. So this is the old way of doing mattresses. And all our beds, they range from 10,000 all the way up to 159,000. We make the most exclusive beds in the world. And today we're going to try the world's most exclusive bed, the Vividus. Sounds like a handsome horse. It means full of life in Latin, but there is horse hair in the mattress. <laughs> What? This is a cut through of what's inside the mattress. This is horse hair. Horse hair regulates the body temperature. So in Sweden, where it's really cold, this keeps you warm. But in California, where it's very warm, this keeps you cool at night. The preconceived notion for Americans is that a firm bed gives you the most support. And this is not correct. The Swedes are here to help you. Hestons are known for this weightless feeling, like sleeping on a cloud. Our unique spring system will allow your shoulders and your hips to sink into the mattress so you still get supported in your lower back, keeping your spine aligned. I honestly didn't know until this moment that someone describing the most comfortable sleep is like my perfect king. <laughs> How does this bed withstand the jumping test? It's made for jumping. When you buy this mattress here in California, we come out every four months for the first 25 years to flip, massage, and jump in your bed. What? So we put on these Get and we here. jump the f out of that bed. You have the best job in the world. Oh my God. What sets the Vividus apart? The difference is the amount of springs and the layers of horse hair. The more material, the more support. Every single stitch is made by hand. This Vividus takes 300 man hours to do, and there's mm -hmm. only eight people in the world who are allowed to do it. That's you guys, two PJs, and we jump in the bed. You have PJs? Of course. Oh, beautiful. This one is for you. Okay, I'm now Keith. And this, I think you're gonna take Yeah, <laughs> this is perfect for me. Thank now you. You're baby Keith. <laughs> we're coming into the store, friends, but we're leaving as Snuggle Brothers. Don't know for science. We're here, we look great, I feel great. Let's get into bed together. This is crazy. You ready? No. Let's just do it. Okay. Oh. Tender. Oh. It's almost as if like, oh yeah, I've been here all my life. It feels right, like this is how it's supposed to be. Steven, right? did you notice our hands are just ever so slightly touching? <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Wow. Oh my God. Steven, give it a bounce test. Can you feel it? Cause I'm having a party. I can feel it, but it's like a gentle wow, like no. sea boat okay, rocking. Wait, I'm gonna sneak out of bed to go pee. Okay. okay. So we're sleeping. Uh, yeah. You still there? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> My feet are comfortable right now. My feet are like, thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you. It's the thousands of pressure points that the bed is pushing back up on me. It's kissing my body. Just a just a hundred yes. little horsehair kisses all yes. over the place. It's crazy because it should always be your your home, your safe place. It's your happy place. I feel safe now. I feel happy. Is it because of me or the bed? You know, who knows? Every night I reconnect with my body in a negative way. I become aware of where I'm sore, where I'm hurting. Mm -hmm. I feel like this bed is inviting me to focus on what feels good about my body. Right now, the, it's not where do I hurt, it's wow, where do I feel great. You need somebody to cuddle you, Zach? Turn around. I got you, Zach. Mm hmm I got you. This is nice. Well, Zach, we've come to the end of the episode. You know what that means? Bed fact! Worth it winner time! But which bed is the most worth it to you at a given price point? Just three equally delicious sleep experiences. Mm. Hastings, man. All my life I just thought Swedish people were beautiful, but now it turns out they just sleep better than us. Yeah. So well rested. But I'm gonna have to give it to Eight Sleep. Oh. You know, first of all, what a cool application of technology. Eight Sleep is the one that I can genuinely imagine it positively impacting my life. Am I worth a winner? No hammocks at La Siesta. There's so much value, and if there's an apocalypse, I don't want to be sleeping on a technology bed or on a horse hair bed. <laughs> like, tie me up a hammock and let's get to sleep. As a wrap of worth it, see you next week. Bye. I won't be here. Oh. Oh, you'll be watching. Let me show you how I cuddle. I personally am just a big fan of like the leg. Oh! <laughs> I feel swallowed up like a baby.